This is the 5-2 activity or day two worksheet. It says work with a partner. We'll be able to do that after we go through a couple examples. So let's go down and do the first one. It's problem AC, if you will. And again, when we're using this by solving by substitution, we want to look to see if one of the equations is set up where it says y equals something or x equals something. And when it does, go ahead and circle it on up like this guy right here. So since this says y equals x plus 3, circle up the x plus 3. That's what we're going to substitute into the other equation for our y value. So we're going to rewrite that first equation. Instead of saying x plus y, we're going to put down x plus what our y is, what we've circled up here, x plus 3. Then we continue again through our equation equals a negative 3. Now you add up your like terms. Careful, x plus x gives you 2x plus 3 equals that negative 3. Solve that equation by adding or subtracting 3, or I will add a negative 3 to both sides. So those cancel. You've got 2x equals a negative 6. Divide by 2, divide by 2 x equals a negative 3. Now again, I usually will circle it up. Don't box it up. You're not done. Now you need to take that and plug it back into one of these two equations. It doesn't matter which one you want to plug it into. You just need to plug it into and solve. Since we want to solve for y, I really like this equation right here because it's already set up as y equals. So I won't have to do any extra work. So please write on in that original equation, y equals x plus a negative 3, so then y equals our x value, it's a negative 3, plus 3, so y is going to equal 0. Caution, now when you put that together, your answer then up here is going to be a negative 3 for your x value, and 0 for your y value, which means when you're looking up here in the puzzle, anywhere that you see a negative 3, you need to put the letter A in. So as you're scrolling on through, a negative 3, you put an A in, an A in, and you find all the negative 3's, careful, just the negatives, not the positives, and you put all those A's there, and then that 0 is a C. So anywhere on this worksheet you find a 0, put in a letter C, and when you're done with that, if you spell a word that doesn't make sense, go back and check our work. Let's do uh, another problem here. Turn to the back side there on the top left, a.k.a. problem IL. Looks like that. So now, again, this one we're going to set up with substitution. We're going to just plug it on in. If something is set up with it set where it says X equals or Y equals, we're going to use that one. However, as per usual, Wherever we see subtraction, don't subtract, add the opposite. So since this one is set up with x equals something, please, while we're doing notes, circle it on up. And in the second equation, plug that in for our x. See, again, since this first equation had x, we plug it in here. So now we're going to take our 2 times everything that our x equals, so that's this up here, we need to plug in negative 9 plus a negative 2y, and don't forget to continue through, that's what 2x is, and you got plus a, a negative y, which is a negative 1, I'm going to put in right away, equals a negative 13. So before we go too far, distribute this, so again, that's a negative 18 plus a negative 4y. Then you got plus a negative y equals a negative 13. And from there, then you can combine your like terms. That would be these guys here. So we're left with a negative 18 plus a negative 5y equals a, a negative 13. We're going to solve that guy by getting rid of the negative 18. To do that, add 18 to both sides. You're left with a negative 5y equals 
positive 5, and then from there, divide by a negative 5, y equals a negative 1. As per usual, don't box that up. Don't um, fi final answer. You can circle it if you wanted to. But now we need to take this negative 1 and plug it into either of these equations. It doesn't matter which one you pick. The choice is yours. However, I'm going to pick the one that I think is easier or less work. So since this says x equals, and that's what I'm trying to figure out, that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to take my x equals negative 9 plus a negative 2y. And from there, I'm going to plug it on in x equals a negative 9 plus a negative 2 times a negative 1. So be careful. These two here give you a positive 2, which means when you add them up, x equals a negative 7. So up here, again, the x value goes first, negative 7, and then the y value, negative 1. You just go back through, careful, with your negative 7s, not the positives, the negative 7s. Put in that i, wherever you see a negative 7, all the way through. And then for the negative 1s, put in that l. Wherever you see a negative 1, put in an l. Be careful that you're watching those signs. Let's do another one. So there on the back on the top right, let's do one that isn't set up in x equals or y equals. So when you're looking at that, first make sure you have all the adding the opposites taken care of. And then from there you get your choice. Pick one and make it say y equals or x equals. Since I've got just one x, a coefficient of 1 or just plain x here, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to solve this one for x. So then that means if I'm going to do that, I need to get x all by itself. So I'm going to add a negative 2y to both sides. So that way it says x equals, remember you can't add those two together. So that's a negative 2 plus a negative 2y. Now, now that I have that set up as x equals something, now I need to plug that into the other equation for my x value. Since this says x equals, that's why it's got to go in here for x. So then 2 times your negative 2 plus a negative 2y plus 2y equals negative 2. Oops, excuse me, that's the wrong equation. There's a quick mistake we can make. Make sure you keep focused on this one. So it's 2x plus a negative 1y. I'm going to make that a negative 1 right away. Equals 6. Again, notice, I started in this equation, accidentally went to the other one. A common mistake, so don't do that. We started here, 2 subbed in everything for our x plus a negative 1y equals 6. Now just like we've done before, we'll distribute. And then from there, we'll add up our like terms and continue on. Just like we've done in the previous problems, once you've got that, then you solve. Again, solving for that. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. It should come out nice with all these problems. If you're getting a decimal or something, i go back and check our math, check our work, as we may have lost a negative or plugged it into the wrong equation like I just tried to do. Divide by negative 5. Y equals negative 2. So now, we know Y equals negative 2. Great. Pick an equation, whichever one you like better or hate the least, plug it into that one because neither of these are set up nicely. So no matter what we do, we're going to have to plug it into one of them and then solve for y. So since I've got what y equals here, I'm going to go back to that top one because I like that. So we got x plus 
2i equals a negative 2. I'm going to rewrite that so I can see it. x plus 2 times a negative 2 equals a negative 2. So again, that comes out to be a negative 4. So to solve, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Gets me x equals 2. So careful now. We've got x equal to 2 and y equal to negative 2. Once again, you can grab that. And I'll let you know that wherever you see a 2, you can pl plug in a O. And as you continue through all that, then wherever you see a negative 2, you can put in the P. And then I just want to do one last one since it comes up sometimes as a question as I'm doing this video. Here we go. What happens if they're both set up as that? Well, then you pick one. Again, before I move on, I'm going to switch this to adding the opposite, adding the opposite. Is one equation set up in y equals or x equals? If they're both, great, pick one. I'm going to pick the top one. This one says y equals. Since we're doing notes, please circle it on up. And then from there, plug it into the other equation for y. So that means I'm going to have 21 plus a negative 2x equals, now let's make sure I copy down this correct equation here, x plus a negative 6. Notice again, we're just rewriting the second equation with y from the first equation and then finish the rest. Oh no, are the variables are both on one side? Nope. Are the constants, the plain numbers are both on one side? Nope. Bummer. So pick one. Uh, let's see here. Since that's, mm, I like to keep my variables positive. So I'm going to add 2x to this side and that side. So I'm left with 21 equals 3x plus a negative 6. So I need to get rid of that negative 6 by adding 6. I'm left with 27 equals 3x, which case I will divide by 3. Perfect. So x equals 9. Great. Don't box that up. We're not done. Remember, our final answer is always going to be an ordered pair, an x and a y value. So take this x and plug it into whatever equation you want up here. doesn't matter, the top or the bottom, whichever one you like better. Since there seem to be larger numbers on the top in this video example, I'm just going to do the bottom one. So I'm going to take and copy down that original bottom problem, and I'm going to plug it on in. y equals 9 plus a negative 6, which gives me positive 3. So caution again, just like in a normal problem, just like here, don't get them mixed up. One of them is 3, one answer is 9. They have to go in the right spot. Remember, in the alphabet, x comes before y, so then my x value of 9 and my y value of 3. That is your final answer, that ordered pair. Today then, you can go back to the front and wherever you see a positive 9, you can put an R in way over here. And wherever you see a 3, a positive 3 that is, you can put an S. Again, feel free to work with partners. Use a calculator the whole way through, and this is graded.